doing all right. Okay, Don, you? Yeah. Thank Good. You. <coughs> So first of all, international breaks sometimes can come a good time, sometimes a bad time. Has this been a, a good time for it to come? <laughs> uh, not after a loss, because you, you're stewing it for the till the next time you play. Um, but what we've done, we've we've done a lot of a lot of work on the training pitch, and hopefully put things right. It does give you that time though, doesn't it? Yeah. To sort out any problems that. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it gives you it gives you that. That time to, to work on the training ground with all the players. I think we had uh, five players went at national duty. But all the other players have, have worked hard, and we've had Paddy, um, Tav, and Sav back in today, and Darren Lee back in tomorrow. Because Paddy scored two good goals, yeah. so that will have kind of given him some confidence. Right? I, I don't think Paddy has been short of confidence this season. I think he's been our outstanding player. I think from the first game of the season up until now, he's been the best player, and he's took that form in, into the Northern Ireland games. Um, I watched, I watched both the games, and I thought he did terrifically well. How is it that some of the players can, or is it just an individual thing, can can retain confidence through spells that maybe aren't so good, and, and others can't? Well, that's 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 human beings. We're all like that. Um, if you ask a normal man in the street, they're not always confident in, in different situations. You've got to build players' confidence up. Um, they can do it themselves at times, but. Sometimes they need the manager, the coaching staff, the people around them, the parents, the, the wives to, to help them. Everyone, everyone needs help at times. And for you, is that quite a difficult thing to do when perhaps you know, the results aren't what you want? You can, only get, you can only give it as much as you've got. And you can only try, with, you can only try to, to push people in the right direction. Um, you help them as much as you can. But it does come from them. It's got to come from them. You can only try as much as you can. I've got confident players in that in that dressing room who, who want to turn things around. Um, do you think that perhaps Borough are the sort of team that will play better against the, the teams in the top half of the table? Yeah. The bottom, you can you can you can you can say that we played well against against um, Bristol City, um, against Birmingham, against Preston. We'll we'll see what Saturday brings. I know I've got good players in that dressing room who aren't performing at the minute to what standard I want them to. But I still believe in every single one of them. I still believe they'll turn things around. That is without question of a doubt, because I see them day in, day out, and I know they'll turn it around, and I know that they care. People might think, oh, they don't care, footballers. These players care. Believe me, I work with them every day. So what is the key to turning it around? Is it literally as simple as getting one good result? <laughs> I keep on going back to, you've got to keep on doing the right things. Um, the nitty gritty side of the game, the work ethic um, that comes on and off the pitch, doing the right things every day, day in, day out. And, you, and sometimes you just need that little bit of luck. Um, we'll do everything we can to beat West Brom on Saturday. I was going to say, it's not getting any easier though. Now you're playing the team at the top of the league. Yeah, that's no problem. That's no problem at all, Don. I'm fine with that. Listen, West Brom are a good team and have started really well. And I've got some fantastic players, especially going forward in the front end of the pitch. Um, I believe on any day our players can, can be just as good as them. Just at the minute, we're not showing it, but we will show it. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm convinced of that. And I suppose when you're trying to kind of you know, change the style a bit, change the approach, mm. it just does take time. Yeah, it takes time, but you, you need time. But how much time do you, do you, do you get? You know, um, we, we keep on going, doing what we're doing, working hard. And like I said before, if you keep on working hard and you keep on doing the right things and set the right standards and stay on the right path, your times will come. And I know them players in there care about the club. Um, and I know we'll get there in the end. And for the fans, is it just a case of them trying to be patient? The fans are going to get frustrated. I'm a fan as well, don't forget. And I, I can get frustrated. Um, the real supporters will be there day, day in, day out, week in, week out with us. And they'll back us all the way. Um, we need them at this difficult time, um, and I'm sure they'll stay with us. As a manager, though, sometimes do you have to kind of step away from the fan side of you? Oh, yeah, of course you do. Of course you do. I'm a fan of the football club, but when I'm a manager, I'm the manager of the football club. I want the football club to do well. I want every player to do well. Um, like I say, we keep on going in the right direction. And is it sometimes quite hard for you to, to kind of divorce yourself 
from that and, and kind of take the emotion out of it? No, that. not really. Not really. I'm quite good at doing that. Why do you think you are good at that? I just, I just think I am good at it. I think I can, I can, I can just walk walk away from certain situations, or I can front the situations up. But I'm the manager of the football club. I can't be a fan. I can't lead with my heart. I've got to lead with my head, and that's that's the most important thing. So, what do you think the, the big, biggest threat from West Brom is going to be then? Well, the, the players they've got going forward, the goals that they scored. They've only been beaten once this season by a by a good Leeds a good Leeds team. They've got options off the bench, but they are really good going forward. They've got We've got wingers and and Grady, Dean Garner, um, Carl Edwards. They've got a host of players. Pereira who plays as the ten. They've got some really, really top players, young players as well. Charlie Austin, a goal scorer. They've got on loan. Zaha. They've got some top players. What's your injury situation like? At the uh, George Friend will be home. I don't want to put too much pressure on George. Maybe three or four weeks. Hayden Coulson um, will play in the 23s game on Friday night. And Rudy's got a slight hamstring issue, which we're just getting to the bottom of, so we'll have more news on him in the up and coming week. How much have you missed George in, in terms of his leadership? Yeah, George is, a, George is a leader of this football club. George is a fantastic lad. He brings the, the dressing room together. He, uh, he leads by example. I've, I've waxed lyrical about George on many occasions of what type of person he is on and off the pitch, and he's fantastic. Um, you do miss him. You do, you do miss players of that, of that stature, and he's been, he's been a part of the Borough team for six years now, and he's done a fantastic job, and he's still got a big future to, to play at this club. I guess you want him back as soon as. I want all my players back. He's not just the only one. I want, I want them all back. Yes, AP. All right. Jonathan, West Brom were good last season. They're good this season as mm. well. Perhaps in a slightly different way with a slightly different manager. From what what you've watched of them, are you impressed with how Slavovic is, is? Yeah, he's done a he's done a great job, but he's got a lot of experience. Um, being the national manager um, and being a, the manager of West Brom, he's, he's got really good experience, but he's got them players to work with as well. Um, the signed Roman Soyuz in the, in the summer was a brilliant acquisition. Um, as a holding midfield player, very good player, and they've got that pace, pace going forward. So, like I say, every game in the Championship, I always say it's a tough game. It's, this is no different. If you don't turn up, you get beat. If you turn up, you've got a chance. Um. <coughs> From your experience as a player as well, and you've already mentioned Paddy shouldn't be short of confidence anyway. Mm. Uh, obviously, Durham was brilliant last night, a brilliant off season for you. But if players do well on the international yeah. break, do they come back with an extra spring in this? Yeah, well, you, you do, yeah. I've, I've been in that similar situation where you play well for your country and you come back and, you, and you're flying. I mean, George Chavell done, done well in the first game against um, the Netherlands and played 30 minutes your night, so he should come back um, full of confidence, ready to go. It should give you the should give you a boost in, in confidence and hope it will do for us. Um, so final question really, um, see, you'd have worked hard since, since the Birmingham game and with the time off that you've had, but was it important for you and the management team to sort of take time to sit and talk about things and think about things? You right? sit down and you analyse different situations and, and what you need to do better and there's a lot of things we do need to do better. Uh, I'm not stupid and I, and, I, and I know it works, we need to improve and that starts on me. No one else. That starts with me, and I'm at the top. And then I, I feel a doubt on my coaches and, and my players. What can they do better? But the book stops with me. It's simple as that. I need to improve. I need to get better. That's the book. Final, final question. Um, I'm sure you, you, you had something similar as a player, but, but now you're the man in charge. How important is it that you you, you can't allow yourself to get downhearted? No, I've said on many occasions, never too high, never too low. Sometimes it's, it's difficult when you have bad performances, but then you need to realise where you're at and what you need to improve on and, and look at it clearly, um, examine everything that's going on. And then, listen, when, when, you, when you're getting beaten in, in different situations in games, people always look at, from the outside, the little things that are going wrong. When you're doing well, when you we were form beaten, then things don't get brought up. All, people always look at the, the tiny things. And Ian, is it, me and it, as a manager, you examine every single thing. And sometimes you can look too hard you just think you just need to, to make a few adjustments, a few little improvements, and then things get better. Thank you. Cheers, guys. All right, thank you.